Hey guys, I wanted to give you a few ideas on what I do every week before it's time to go grocery shopping. It keeps me consistent and keeps me on track. So come on this way and I will show you what I do. First off, I always have my healthy cookbooks in the kitchen. These are all my healthy cookbooks. And what I do is I will just grab one or two cookbooks and uh, sit down with my grocery list. So here's how I keep my grocery list. So we come over here. Um, I used to do it like this. I used to do it on these note cards. And I would write on one side my meal ideas, and then like, you know, breakfast ideas, morning snacks, lunches, dinners, that sort of thing. And then on the other side, I would write my grocery list um, categorized produce, bulk, aisles, cooler, and then I would highlight the different stores that I'd have to go to because sometimes I go to HEB, sometimes it's the farm, sometimes I blot my lipstick, and these are just some uh, great ideas for, you know, keeping it color coordinated. So I used to do it on these note cards, but, you know, I would just kind of lose track of all of them, and it wasn't compiled so there were some weeks that I did not get a chance to sit down and make my list so what I started doing was I started using these um, composition books uh, just like this uh, on one side I write down the meal ideas for the week and then I would also write down like page numbers so if I can find one um, let's see I would write down like a page number, 98. So whatever cookbook I had for the week, um, usually I would abbreviate it, but uh, I have filled up these books. Of course, there's other Scribble Scrabble in them. This is one of them, um, lots of Scribble Scrabble. So my workout plan, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not pretty, but what's cool is that I can actually go in these books, like let's say that, I'm, this is mine that I'm on right now. So let's say that I go to the grocery store and I want to um, figure out what I had the last week. Well, like this is this week, but, well actually that was last week, maybe that was last week. This is what I wrote on the list for last week and I wasn't really prepared last week and that's because we had a lot of things going on. I knew I was gonna go, we were gonna eat out. But I wrote down page 55, 72 uh, from Tosca Reno's uh, Eat Clean Diet. I think that was from hers. So I actually didn't even make the quinoa tabooey. So I pretty much actually didn't even make that salad. So I have that stuff left over. So this is from this week. Um, these are my ideas that I have for lunch and for dinner. So if I forget what the heck I was going to make for dinner, then I can just go over here and see uh, what it was that I wrote down. And then I wrote the page number. It's the Tone It Up book and page 147. So here's my list. So like I said, if I get to the grocery store and I haven't made my list, well I can see what I did a few weeks before and make a list from that. So um, I didn't highlight this week. You know, sometimes it's just not always perfect. But anyway, that's what I do. And that keeps me, um, that keeps me well organized. I really recommend, of course, keeping your fruits accessible. Um, this is our usual fruit tray. It's pretty much full right now. I just went to the store yesterday. Um, stay consistent. Go to the grocery store the same time every week. Don't fall behind. Choose a day where you prep your food, prep your groceries, prep your vegetables. Um, be consistent with it and I promise that you will do so much better.